Hello, class. You guys finish play tectonics. <laughs> nice job. Remember, in play tectonics, there's three main ways uh, these darn things move. They either subduct, they collide head to head, they move apart, or they move side to side. Not super hard, but that's the way that whole thing runs. If they subduct, it's always oceanic crust that subducts, it'll melt, boom, boom, boom. If they're colliding head to head, it's going to make a folded mountain range, like the Himalayan mountains or the Appalachian mountains. If they're moving apart from each other, they're going to make a volcano, which is usually underwater. Side to side is going to be earthquakes. That's uh, plate tectonics in a nutshell. We've already done that. I was just going to do a quick review. I had forgotten to put this on the last video. If they hit head to head, they make a folded mountain range. Uh, most of you guys got it. Some of you guys didn't. Um, in addition, most of the heat from the interior of the Earth is coming from radioactive elements. There's some latent heat from when the Earth formed, but most of it is radioactive elements, and they'll make the convection cells. Convection cells is what drives plate tectonics. Um, you know, move the plates apart. Those are the two things I've seen from your outline that you may or may not have gotten that I want to make sure you've got. All right, so we're going to move into volcanoes. There are three main volcanoes. Shield volcano, composite volcano, and cinder volcano. As a consequence, we can take out one of the plate boundaries to transform, because that's earthquakes. Where you have an ocean plate that subducts, this is always going to make a composite volcano. Composite volcano. Where you get subduction. Composite means a compilation of two things. One is lava, and it's usually a uh, uh, lava on this. And the second thing you get from a composite is cinders or ash same thing, or sometimes even rock, but these two combine together. The next one that you're going to get is shield volcano, and that's always going to be on these divergent. They call it a shield volcano because it looks like a warrior shield from an outline. The shield volcano is almost always the runny lava, which is pohoyhoy. Uh, this is why, but I'm not sure what it means. Anyhow, it's running lava and it really flows a long way before it solidifies. Um, this is folded mountain range, you won't get that. So the third volcano you can get is something called a cinder volcano. And you almost always get these in intraplate. In other words, if you have a hot spot, coming up underneath a continent, you'll get a cinder <laughs> volcano, and it's just 90% ash slash cinders. These are the smallest volcanoes. Uh, so you got composite, you got shield, you got cinder, and there's a whole series of things that you can get with these volcanoes. I actually made up a PowerPoint, which I'd never do. Um, I think maybe they'll explain a little of this stuff as we go. Um, this right here is showing pohoyhoy lava. It flows real fast. It's super hot. It takes forever for it to solidify. And it's almost always found on shield volcanoes. And we'll get into the type of rock that is later, maybe next week. But... We don't need it for now. Let's see what else we got here. Can't remember. Nah. Uh oh, my machine quit already. Curse says. All right, guys. Dying already. Oh, hello, oh, everyone. Man, this thing is slow. What's up with this? Ah, this thing's irritating me already. Ah, uh, it's just another thing for boy, boy, lava. Uh, pyroclastic flow. All right, let's cover that. 
Um, Compound volcanoes, these are by and large the most dangerous volcanoes. Um, when these things blow up, you get a problem. So one of the big things you get with these is a pyroclastic flow. I won't write it because I've already got it right here. Pyro meaning fire, plastic meaning bits of rock. These, keep, these things come flying out of these volcanoes at hundreds of miles an hour. They're, they're huge things of hot gases. Uh, these what burn people up. These things are dangerous. Pyroclastic flow. Second thing you can get out of these things is something called a lahar. A lahar is where all the ice and um, snow melts at the top, so you basically get a huge mud flow. <laughs> these things wipe people out like mad too. Um, these pyroclastic flows of lahars are usually what kill people when these things blow up. Uh, let's see if it's talking about anything else. Uh, these are the hazards again. Tephra with another name for ash and rock. Volcanic bomb is basically just lava that solidifies in midair. This this would have been lahar coming down through here, probably pyroclastic flow as well. Uh, lahar shield volcanoes. This is Hawaii basically, very fluid. You don't get a lot of explosions. You just get a lot of lava. Uh, Ah, silica level. We can talk about the silica level on this. It's not a bad idea. Silica level is basically glass. Um, this is going to be a low silica, uh, low SiO2, um, which means it's not very viscous, so it has a low viscosity. So it flows real easy. It's very fluid. This is going to have a high SiO2. Because there's a lot of glass in there, very viscous, so it gets clogged in here. So you get a lot of pressure that builds up, and then when it blows, it blows big. And you, you've got nothing but problems. This thing is too slow. Too much stuff in here. Aha! That's all it looks like. Just looks like a you know low detail. There's not much to it. Another one, another one. There's a composite one we were talking about. These are the pretty volcanoes. They look like a snow cone from a distance because they get snow on them. Mount Fuji, Mount St. Helens, which is us, the United States. Got a lot of silica, the magma's very viscous, there's a lot of gas, very explosive. Again, lava and ash flow. Aha, there they are, pretty. Oh. If you guys ever get a chance, go out there and check out these volcanoes. We got a bunch of them in the United States. There's a cinder, there's the last one. Sometimes you get these on the side of shield volcanoes, but these are the smallest volcano. Um, they're not very big, they're not super dangerous. Um, I guess if you're set right on one, you can, uh, you can get burned. But for the most part, they're, they're relatively small. And let's see if it's going to show a picture of one. There it is. Looks like just a big pile of sand or something. I give you some uh, sizes on these so you guys got these. Shield volcanoes are maybe uh, 100 miles wide, maybe two miles tall. Composite is maybe 20 miles wide. Again, two miles tall. Cinder cones are not very big. You can see by the picture right here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe 800 feet wide. Maybe 400 feet tall. Or just a big pile of sand. That's basically what we have for volcanoes. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, lava. I wonder if they put that on here or not. Pohoi ho, you can see it. I wonder if they put the ah, uh, ah, uh, lava on here. Let me keep running through here and see if they have these or not. No, what a bunch of losers. Alright, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, lava is good. It hurts your feet when you walk on it because it has so much glass in it. It's usually blocky and it'll actually cut your boots. So I'll just say. Blocky and sharp, 
smooth. Oh, oily, oily lava is very smooth. It's not uh, sharp at all. And are we missing anything else with volcanoes? I don't think so. I think that'll work for now, guys. Doop. That'll work.